Burka, hideous garment not integral to Islam, poses security risk. UK imam former UK Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson should not apologize for telling the truth in his comments on wearing face concealing and full body veils in public. An Islamic leader in Britain has said, although this deliberate identity concealing contraption is banned at the Kaaba and Mecca it is permitted in Britain, thus precipitating security risks, accelerating vitamin D deficiency, endorsing gender inequality and inhibiting community cohesion, Dr. Taj Harji, a mom at the Oxford Islamic Congregation, added. Mr. Johnson has faced fierce backlash after he said Muslim head veils were oppressive to women and said it is absolutely ridiculous that people should choose to go around looking like letter boxes, the burqa and niqab are hideous tribal ninja-like garments that are pre-Islamic, non-Quranic and therefore un-Muslim, Dr. Argy wrote in a letter to the Times, copyright AP photo, Simon Dawson Britain's Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson delivers a speech at the Policy Exchange in London, Wednesday, February 14, 2018. Read more, the imam also said the ex-Foreign Secretary Johnson did not go far enough in his column that sparked controversy and calls for him to apologize for saying veiled women looked like bank robbers, copyright AFP 2018, Odd Anderson a woman in traditional Muslim gowns video films her family under the watchful eyes of the lions guarding the Nelson Column at Trafalgar Square in London, the 12th of August 2002. Doctor. Taj Hargi is the director of the Muslim Educational Center of Oxford, a diverse group of forward-looking Muslim academics, entrepreneurs, professionals, retirees, students and other Oxford residents. In 2015, following the ruling by the French Parliamentary Commission, Miko took the lead in pioneering an anti-Burqa and Niqab initiative, ABNI. British Muslims must distinguish between religion and culture by recognizing that face covering is a tribal cultural habit that is in fact explicitly prohibited during the annual pilgrimage to Mecca. If it is forbidden at Islam's holiest mosque, then why is it fine elsewhere, Miko said at the time. The organization has also argued that many Muslims have been misled by propaganda from the Wahhabi Salafi Diobandi Tablai Jamaati and Jamaati Islami sects that the burqa, niqab is integral to Islam. Miko then called on Britain to follow France and Belgium in upholding a ban on public face covers. A Wednesday poll revealed that more than half 59% of respondents supported banning the wearing of a burqa in public places, while 48% said that Boris Johnson should not ask pardon for his comments. Read 